You may remember that in an earlier lesson, we talked about the importance of the diaphragm and of filling your lungs right to the bottom. Of course, you won't always fill your lungs for every breath. Just as the violinist doesn't use the whole bow for every stroke, there'll be some smaller strokes and a whole variety in fact, so the clarinetist needs to develop a whole variety of breaths to help express the music, to give it light and shade and direction. I find it helpful to plan my breathing when I'm practicing and I write it into the music using signs like this. A good piece for illustrating the importance of breathing is Der Hirt auf dem Felsen by Schubert, the shepherd on the rock. The shepherd or the clarinetist sets the scene by singing a note that resounds around the mountains and then comes back to him. It then turns into the wonderful opening melody. To do this, you will need to fill your lungs right to the bottom if the conditions are very dry, you might even find it helpful to fill your lungs through your nose because that tends to dry out your mouth and your nasal passages a bit less. Then to make the crescendo as the note resounds around, the diaphragm will push out the air steadily faster. Then it'll gain control and bring it down to a piano before playing the melody. It's quite tempting to use up all of the air in that dramatic opening crescendo, but remember to keep some back so that you can sing the melody as well. You may want to snatch a quick breath in bar eight. Don't worry about taking breaths like this. There always is time to breathe in music. Most music is meant to be like singing. It sounds natural to breathe. Don't be tempted to cut short the phrase before in order to give, you, give yourself time to breathe. That will end up sounding gaspy. So try and just relax when you take a breath. The next breaths are quite obvious between the phrases, but they get progressively bigger because they need to get you through, first of all, a crescendo, and then right through to the crucial note in the whole phrase, the C. I've written rather a strange mark in my part now. It's like an upside down breath. It's to remind me to breathe out. There's nothing worse than feeling that your lungs are full of unused air. In fact, it's very bad for you. It can give you a headache and make you feel sick. Unused air is waste product, so you must remember to expel it when you can during a piece. Otherwise, you end up feeling dreadful. Our next breaths are large ones. Although we're in pianissimo, we're stocking up a store of breath to get us right through this long phrase, right through to bar 29. <laughs> I snatched a breath in bar 29. 
If there's very little time to take a breath, always remember to open your mouth as widely as you can. Otherwise, it'll be very loud and rasping. I'll just show you the difference between and so open mouth is a lot quieter. Always try and do that if you can. The last little interjections are punctuated by obvious breath marks. Take them even if you don't really need the breath. It all reinforces that picture of the shepherd singing, perhaps sobbing, as he tells us of his broken heart. <laughs>